Woohoo! We're live. Welcome to another Wednesday Live. I'll wait for people to get here. Anybody? Yes. Brenda? Hello, Brenda. Andy? Bay? Cheers. To These names are too hard. It's too hard. Cindy? I got that one down. Yay! Thanks for joining, guys. I'm currently going through a situation here. It's one of those days where I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put makeup on today. I'm going to have my life together, you know? And so I put my lashes on, but I'm almost out of lash glue. And so this one is half on. It's half, it's barely here. It's barely hanging on. Hello, Rachel. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. This lash is barely hanging on. It's just like holding on it's not I mean it's off at this point but I'm like well I gotta fucking keep makeup on for for this Instagram live pretend that I have my life together you should see my house I feel like I say that every single time I'm on here like god I wish you only knew what my house was like speaking of house this is gonna be like a totally random hi everybody this is so fun it's gonna be a totally random Instagram live I'm currently house hunting and you guys get this so, hi, Michelle. So the other day, found a house, wasn't, wasn't even thinking about houses really. I just logged on, found a house, went, went to it, fell in love with it. Was like, oh, maybe we should do this. But it's the first house we looked at, can we do that? And then boom, it's under contract. I'm really hoping for these people who bought it that it, their loan falls through, not for them, praise be, whatever that means, but for me and my selfishness. Have you ever done a lash lift and lash tint? I get my lashes tinted every three weeks. I've done a lash lift and I don't really like it. I don't really like it. Yay, Crystal, I finally get to see your Instagram live. Live, woo, thanks for joining. So anyways, yeah, Amy, you're right. You have to move fast as fuck here. And I know that because I own this house with my husband and we had to put an offer down the day we saw it, move to it really, really quick. And so we thought that, you know, maybe, maybe things would be different with this house. You know, maybe we should think on it. Maybe we should sleep on it, you know, purchasing a new home. No, you, you can't think here in Denver. It's like you find a house, you buy it the day you see it. The second you walk into it and you're not like, hey, this is a complete dump, a waste of money, you buy it. Just here's, here's my money. So I'm quite um, depressed about this house. But you know, you got, yeah, you got to move fast and I'm so sad. Um, how much does the last tint cost? I think it's like 20 to 25. It t totally depends where you go, obviously. Um, what have you used for melasma? I don't really use anything specifically for melasma. I see an esthetician um, to work on those things. So micro needling, different laser treatments like BBL laser treatments. Um, there's different treatments I do for the melasma itself. And then I use um, a couple different products like vitamin C, um, uh, mandelic acid those are some great products that I use on my skin regularly to help with dark spots but the melasma itself I have to see a specialist for and melasma comes on from all different kinds of things if you don't know what melasma is it it's like darkening of the skin so if you've ever seen any dark spots you can kind of get it all over the place um, and I get it whenever I'm out in the sun and I wear a hat at all times I take a, a hat off to take a photo and then I put my hat back on but it can be triggered by hormonal hormones or hormonal imbalance it can be triggered by heat so if you take fucking hot showers and you're prone to melasma you're just doomed yeah found that out earlier the worst um are you watching bachelor in paradise yes i didn't watch last night's episode because it's like two episodes two how long are the episodes two hours four hours a week of bachelor it's just like I have a, I got shit to do. So I've been watching it and it's so good. Can we please talk about Blake lives here in Denver. I've never seen him, but he's just causing so much drama. I love this show. The producers are so good on Bachelor in Paradise. Why do you want to move? So since my husband uh, quit his job and now is at the house all the time, 
before he was working six days a week, he was barely ever here. And this house is very small, it's very tight. And so we don't have uh, an off, I don't really have an office, he doesn't have an office. It's just tight quarters and now we feel it so much more because we're both home. So we're just looking for things that work a little bit better for my business and then whatever business he gets into moving forward, hopefully working from home because that is the goal. I know, I just remodeled the bathroom, so fucking ridiculous. But then you just see something and you're like, well, shit, that bathroom is better than mine. So, pff, yeah, damn it. Um, where's the panda? He's at the front door laying in the sun. If in a workout rut, any tips to getting motivated again? You just got to do it. That's the, the easiest answer. You just fucking do it. You go into the gym and you do something. Don't put on, don't put these huge goals on of saying like, okay, I'm going to work, work out six days a week right now when you haven't been working out on a regular basis. Set realistic goals. I'm going to work out three days a week and I'm going to go in there for 30 minutes. Don't put this huge weight on yourself to get crazy workouts in with crazy moves that you've never done. Just start getting in the routine where you work out three days a week, 30 minutes or less, you just move, and then you're gonna start feeling better and wanting to do it more often. I think that's the best way to do it, is just kind of start smaller goals, and then more and more they will pile on top of each other. But at the end of the day, the only person who is going to get you into the gym is yourself. Sure, you can work out with a friend and say, hey, I'll meet you at the gym and that can help. But at the end of the day, your friend might ditch you, okay? And then that, fuck that friend, you know? It's all you, you totally got this. So get in there, set those goals, a couple days a week and it will build on itself. Tell us about the house. You guys, I can't, I will cry. <gasps> so the house was an A-frame and it was windows, ceiling to floor, so much light. The kitchen was gigantic. I mean, it was like most of the house. That's the only thing I care about. It's so weird looking at these old, I live in a 1950s house and looking at these old houses and this has been redone, but did people not cook in the 1950s? Like why are these kitchens the size of my fingernail? Like what is happening? But obviously I have, um, much bigger needs because I cook nonstop. So also this kitchen had a regular dishwasher and then guess what? Two drawer dishwashers on the other side. And I'm not joking, that is needed in this house. I cooked a few recipes yesterday. I don't understand how I make so many dishes. It's just obnoxious. Um, you know what, that's all I care about. That was the best part. It had two trash cans too, like two drawer ca trash cans and it still had plenty of drawer space. It was magical, but the light in it I can't, we're just in this like dark, like little crevice of a house. There's no light in here. Ugh, so sad. <laughs> Besides diet and exercise, have you done any body contouring or surgery? No, I've not, oh, I have my boobs done, done. <laughs> I got that done like 10 years ago, 11 years ago, 11 years ago. Holy shit, these things are old. <laughs> So no, I have not done any other surgery um, for like body contouring. I've been doing this thing called um, cryo T-sculpt where you can do it on any part of your body. And so I've done it to the back of my legs. It's supposed to help with cellulite and I haven't seen a difference. Um, that cellulite just loves to stay around, you know, but I haven't done anything else that's body contouring, just only skin treatments. This lash is just bugging me. Um, when are we going to see the results of your tattoo removal? When it's gone. <laughs> There's your result. There's nothing there. So who knows how long that will fucking be. Um, have you been to Putacana? I have not. Wait. Yes, I have. <laughs> yes, I have. But oh my God, that was so long ago. That had to have been like eight years ago. But yes, I have been to Putacana. I almost forgot about that. Um, let's see, getting microblading done tomorrow. Excited, but um, will I be able to go out in public right after or, or, and not look cray? Well, 
no, I don't think you look crazy. It might be cr a little crazy to you. So when I got my eyebrows microbladed, I had pretty much a thin line to begin with. And so then you feel kind of crazy because you actually have what your eyebrow size should look like. Um, so you feel a little weird looking and it's like kind of glossy because it has Vaseline or whatever they put on top of it. Um, so it's like, do you want to go out to dinner with your friends? Sure, you could, and it wouldn't be a big deal, but you might feel a little weird. Oh my gosh. Um, why do you wanna move after all the bathroom renovation? Mention that. Do you still get colonics? <laughs> this may be TMI, so I understand if you pass on this question. Oh my God. If you guys haven't listened to my podcast about col colonics, if you don't know what a colonic is, it's pretty much a professional enema. <laughs> And I was having, I was traveling a ton and then I was having these stomach issues that weren't going away and I ended up getting a colonic and it like completely cleared up any of those issues. Um, I don't get them on a regular basis because someone sticking up a tube up my butthole is not my experience of a good time personally you know I'm not trying to sh kink shame anybody's kinks out there but me personally not into it but I think it's awesome. It clears out so much. You're like, how was that much in my intestines? It's so gross and bananas. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you that you look like Reagan from New Girl? Reagan? Wait, is that, are you saying Megan Fox? Because if you're, if that's who you're thinking, I fucking love you. Um, and is New Girl the best show on the whole planet or what? I've been watching, so I go through New Girl like I go through The Office. I watch it and then I start it back over. And man, once you get to like season six or something, you're like, okay, New Girl, you really shit the bed. But freaking episodes, or seasons one through five are the best. And can we talk about Working Moms? If you guys haven't watched Working Moms on Netflix, it is hilarious. It will make you, if you're child free, it will make you not want to have a child ever. Um, but it is so fucking funny. Oh my God, it's so good. Let's see. Um, give us an update on how your body is responding to going off the pill. Yes, so I went off the pill, um, let's see, like a month and a half ago. And it, it like, like clockwork, I started my period exactly when I was supposed to, which was fucking awesome. And then a week later, I started my period again. So that wasn't really awesome. Um, and I had a little emotional instability at first, but everything else has passed. I've been taking my supplements, really trying to take those every single night. Not always great about it. Why are supplements the worst? It's like I really have to work up the courage to take these fucking pills. They're just so gigantic. Um, so yes. Everything has been great. I haven't had that hard of a time, which is crazy. I was on birth control for like 15 years and I haven't had that hard of a time. Who knows what's going on inside, but my di digestion have felt good. My emotions have been good. My body has felt good overall. So I think those supplements have really helped. Um, let's see, I'm thinking about moving to Denver. Can you talk me into it or out of it? Well, um, I obviously love Denver. We don't really need more traffic, so I could talk you out of it, but Denver's awesome. If you don't like snow, it's kind of annoying in the winter. I can't lie, I fucking hate the snow, so. Uh, let's see, any ideas on dairy, egg, nut, and grain-free snacks? Jesus Christ. Um, I mean, there's all kinds of different snacks out there. I can't exactly name them right here, right now. Let's see, look at this. Plantain chips. These are the best. Okay, so I got on Instagram Live today. I'm like, what do I want to talk about? I was thinking about talking, Jackson's here, of course. I was thinking about talking about some of my favorite must have, must try things on the list right now. Number one, well not number one, but one of the best ones, Artisan Tropic Plantain Chips. If you haven't tried these plantain chips, they are freaking awesome. Jackson's here, duh. These chips, are the best okay so we're going to talk about some snacks real quick this is a dairy egg nut and grain free snack speaking of another one which i eat with the chips you guys i need you to log on to this website find it 
where it is in your area. And if it's in your area, I need you to go get it, okay? Go support this company. They're fucking awesome. So it's called Majestic Garlic. Find it in your area. Ask about it at your store. If they don't have it, request it, okay? Let's support the small business that is doing great things. So if you've ever had like, what is it? It's like kind of Lebanese garlic dip. I don't know if you've ever had it, but it's life-changing. That's what it reminds me of. I don't know if it's exactly what it is, but here's the only ingredients in it. Garlic, safflower, safflower oil, flaxseed, sea salt, and lemon juice, okay? This is what it looks like inside. You can't even see shit on this. Um, so it looks like white dip, you know? It, it looks like kind of like hummus a little bit. So what do you do with this? You fucking eat it. It's the best. I put it in a mojo pork bowl yesterday with some plantains. You guys, it's so good. Go support this. Majestic garlic. Support this company. Make them grow, okay? Let's do a couple more questions, and then I want to show a couple more of the products that I'm loving. How old is Jackson? He is five going on six. And man, he's really turned into a grumpy ass old man. Jackson gives me dirty looks all day, every day. And obviously I treat him like a queen, whatever king. He has the best life of anybody I've ever known. He gets to do things all day. He gets to sleep in the sun. He gets treats constantly. That's why he's chunky like me. Just kidding. And he lives his best life. So why is he grumpy all the time? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And getting another dog just isn't going to happen. It's just not. Oh my God, this eyelash is just about to crumble. <laughs> um, where can I listen to your podcast? Is it on Spotify? I don't think it's on Spotify because I don't know how to do anything. So it is on the podcast app on your iPhone. It is also on, I forget, of course. But if you go to my blog, it has the list of all my podcasts right there. And then you can listen to day one. You can even listen on your phone right there. But I think the podcast app is the best. Um, have you taken any nutrition classes? No, I have not. <laughs> Always wanted to do a colonic. I'm totally doing it now. Do it. You're going to love it. Um, I really want to know why you don't like your blonde hair. It's so seldom that I see a blonde prefer dark. I don't know. I just didn't like how I looked. You know when you like get a bad, okay, you know when you get a bad haircut or a bad dye job and you just look in the mirror and you just like feel like you don't see yourself or you've gained a lot of weight or you've lost a lot of weight or you know you're pale as fuck because it's winter and you're just like, who am I? You know? That's how I felt with blonde hair. And so when I was, when I went dark, I was like, oh, this is what I'm supposed to look. Oh my God, this can't, this can't happen anymore, guys. I gotta take it. <laughs> so it's just like when you look in your mirror, you want, this one has to go too. You wanna see the person who you think you are and who looks like the best version of yourself, I guess. And I just didn't feel like blonde, that was me with blonde hair. Why did you decide to go off the pill? Um, I have a blog post that talks about it there. Go to my blog and just talk, type in birth control and it'll be the first post that pops up and I talk about it all in that post. Oh, Colorado people hate everyone. Okay, that is so untrue. They're so mean, what? Here's the thing, people who live in Colorado, I know about 10 natives to Colorado. So when you say Colorado people hate everyone, what Colorado people? Because nobody's actually from Colorado. They're all transplants. I promise, no, just kidding. I am mean to everyone, so I can't say I'm that. Uh, let's see. Love your enthusiasm for medical grade skincare. Me too. What has been your favorite treatment um, overall and best results? Obsessed with microneedling. I just had my third third treatment last week. I'm doing six total, and it is it has transformed my skin. If you want to get rid of like some fine lines, fucking microneedling is where it's at. If you want to retexturize your skin, if you have acne marks, um, pox scars, whatever, uh, profractional is my other favorite. So microneedling, profractional, and then BBL. Those are my three favorites that are awesome and give amazing results and make your skin look so freaking good. Um, 
We have a similar sense of humor. I die laughing sometimes, so thank you. But do you get haters on your humor? God, yes. Four times a day, I have people message me to tell me to stop cussing. Who are these adults that say that? It's so weird. It's so weird. Yeah, people hate me. <clears throat> I moved here though, and I won't be hateful to you. Yeah, don't be hateful to me. And you're not a native, obviously, so it's fine. Okay, wait, before we move on, let's talk about a couple other favorite products that I'm so obsessed with right now. Okay, I talked about this on Instagram the other day. This is uh, Purely Elizabeth. If you haven't tried their granola, I think they're a Boulder-based company too. This is so cool. I was in St. Bart's in the Caribbean. We stopped at St. Bart's. We went to this adorable little juice bar called jo Tom's Juice Bar, and they had Purely Elizabeth granola in fucking St. Bart's. That's how good it is. They got it in their store. So Purely Elizabeth, they have amazing gluten-free granola. They have a paleo granola as well. And then they just came out with this cauliflower. I don't know when it was actually came out, but I just got my hands on it. This cauli hot syrup, cauliflower hot cereal. So if you're a person who can't have oats, girl, this is amazing. It, it tastes very, very similar. I do water in it, cook it up, and then I put a scoop full of peanut butter and a little bit of almond milk in it, and it is so freaking good. I love it. Cauliflower can do anything. Pizza, rice, mashed potato. Gosh, can't talk today. This stuff is awesome. You can get it at Whole Foods. Um, I, you can get it on Thrive Market. And that's all I know of so far, but I'm loving it. Highly recommend. Next, this one I just ate, so it's all flattened out. Have you guys ever tried Pro Bar? Their bars are so fucking good. But I like having little peanut butter packets. I don't eat almond butter because it makes me feel like dog dump. And so peanut butter is my go-to. It tastes so good. Like, it's just the best. And this peanut butter for, by Pro Bar, it's their chocolate peanut butter blend. It's peanut butter, date paste, cocoa, cocoa butter, coconut oil, sea salt, and stevia. It is delicious. There's really nothing left, I got it all. Okay, now let's do more questions and then I have one more product you have to try. Ooh, you have to try Bitchin' Sauce. It's a nut, it's a butt-based, nut-based. <laughs> so yes, I've tried Bitchin' Sauce and it's amazing. The thing is I don't do well with almonds and so I can't have it. But the Bitchin' Sauce, highly recommend if you do well with almonds, their sauces are amazing. Their cilantro, ugh, to die, to die. Uh, let's see. How long are your workouts on average? How many times a day do you eat and how much? Jeez. Okay. My workouts are usually an hour or less. The other day I worked out for 25 minutes, then left. Um, how many times a day do you eat? Fuck if I know. I eat three normal big meals and then I probably have two snacks a day, but every day is a little bit different. Some days I eat more, some days I eat less. I don't really uh, pay attention and I have no idea how much. I don't count calories, I don't count macros, I don't care about that stuff. I just eat until I'm satisfied and then I stop. Um, how did you start your business? Okay, you need to go back in my podcast because that's just a long kind of journey. Go back in my podcast. I have how I started my business and kind of how it grew from there. Um, where in Denver did you get that garlic stuff? Okay, you gotta go because I went to multiple locations and couldn't find it because this majestic garlic has hummus. I keep burping, probably the peanut butter. Um, so this brand has hummus, but I don't really like hummus. So I just want this garlic dip. I went to three locations and then I finally found it on Tennyson Street at the Natural Grocers. Tennyson in the Highlands. Go get it. Colorado people are so nice. Man, we have mixed opinions here. Mixed opinions. Yeah, I, yay a native. We got another native here. You look gorgeous without fake lashes. Get out of here. These stupid little eyes. <laughs> Let's see, I grew up in Colorado. It's the best, the people are so nice. I believe, I completely agree. I grew up in Colorado, I grew up in Golden. My dad has a store in Golden, and my dad says hello to everyone who walks by. So I just grew up thinking that everyone said hello to each other. And so then, you know, you go out on the Denver streets and you say hello to someone, and they're like, fuck you. Like, 
okay. Like this homeless guy, outside I was carrying a kettlebell overhead today at my CrossFit gym doing this test and I was like, he started laughing, I'm like, hello. And then he's like, what the fuck are you doing? As he's saying this, he has no teeth. He's talking shit about me carrying a kettlebell. He has no fucking teeth. But Denver's pleasant. <laughs> okay. Ooh, this person said, Susan says, I've been doing microneedling for two years now, on and off, and it has taken years off my face. It is seriously the best. Oh no, someone said I broke out in highs when I did microneedling. Crazy, that's not fun at all. But it really has, it's like, I cannot believe after three treatments how big of a difference it's made on my skin. It's crazy. I know you've said this a million times, but what do you do? Literally, this is what I do. I sit here and I talk to you guys. So I have a blog called Paleo MG and I create paleo recipes on it. I share beauty and skincare. I share workouts, travel, um, fashion. I share whatever I want on there. I've done that website for eight years now. So that's what I do. I just type all day long. Uh, let's see. Where do you get your, for, wait, for your, get, this one's hard. I'm, I'm thinking you're asking what I get, do for my nails. I get acrylic nails with gel on top. Hello, Lauren. Thought you couldn't have peanuts on paleo. Peanuts are a no-no on paleo, but I fucking do it, you know? YOLO. Are you going to write more books? No plans to write um, any more books at all. But who knows if that'll change in, in the future. What store does your dad own? It's called Gene Bauer Goldsmith. He owns a jewelry store. Go in there. Give him your money. Buy some jewelry. Um, do you ever use drunk elephant skincare products? Never heard of it. Never. Are you still practicing CrossFit? Um, not really. I go usually once every two weeks, if that but not really, I just kind of work out on my own. Okay, let's do another product. You guys have to try this. I freaking love this one. It's called Trill Bar, okay? Wait, no, no, no. The brand, first of all, the brand is called Daydream Dessert. So cute. And then this is their peanut, roasted peanut Trill Bar, okay? You guys, you guys have to try this. So it is, listen to the only ingredients in this. Dates, peanuts, cacao butter, cacao powder, sunflower seeds, coconut, date syrup, and pink salt. You guys, this tastes like a Snickers bar, okay? Sure, I haven't had a Snickers bar in probably 15 years, but this is what it reminds me of. It is so freaking good. It's one of my favorite clean desserts. You gotta try it, I love it. Okay, go support the small business too, okay? Daydream dessert. Go small, support all these small businesses. Um, Taylor Swift, why do I keep doing that? What is this? Taylor Swift is releasing her track, Lover, this Friday off her new album, Just FYI. Gotta, don't you love Taylor Swift? Who doesn't love Taylor Swift? Let me know. If you don't love Taylor Swift, I want to know why, okay? Please explain why, because I'll fight you on it. She's so great. God, she's such a good performer. Have you always been so outgoing or did that come with growing up? I feel like I've been pretty outgoing most of my life. I feel very um, overwhelmed in social situations. Like we went to a concert the other day and I'm like, this is gonna be fucking miserable because I just don't like being in crowds. I don't like being in groups of people um, that I don't know, which is hilarious that I'm like talking here on Instagram Live, but like in busy situations. But I think I've always been pretty outgoing and I feel like I get to be my most outgoing on my own platform, on my blog, on here. So I think so. Um, why did you choose to cut back on CrossFit? I was getting constant pain um, from kind of like a lot of trap pain, headaches. And then I just wasn't... I wasn't able to really recover. And so I would go to a CrossFit day where there's like 
200 wall balls and I'd be able to do all of them, but then my muscles could never fully recover. And CrossFit, usually at my gym, it's full body days. You're most of the time going to use both your upper and lower body. And I really wanted to see what it would be like if I split up my days. And so I was doing upper body one day, lower body the next, and then um, how my physique would change from doing kind of single leg stuff, uh, really concentrating on glute work that it was missing in CrossFit. So I just wanted to change it up and I've loved it. Um, what com blogging conventions are your favorite to attend? I haven't attended a, a ton, but I attended the Everything Food Conference this year and loved it. It was amazing, and I work with a really cool company now because of it. So I love that one. It's really good. Um, what if your husband is the one that put the offer on the house you liked? That would be so cool, Corey. But here's the thing. My husband has no job, so that would be pretty hard for him to do. Um, I don't think he could get that loan. <laughs> so that would be so fucking cool. Oh, my God. I would die. Don't put that in my head, Corey. Uh, do you recommend starting CrossFit after a knee injury that is still healing? Wanting to start, but don't know if I should be patient. Yeah, fucking be patient. You gotta wait. Don't just like jump into the fire. No, no, heal. You have to heal. Let your body heal. You gotta do it because CrossFit can be very demanding on the body and then you'll have to do a lot of different um, subs, especially if you're still healing. So just wait, fucking wait it out. Let your body heal, man. Favorite products at Trader Joe's? Guess what, Amanda? I think. Mander. Mander. Yeah. Go to my blog. I have a list of my favorite products on Trader Joe's, but I'm sure there's so many other ones because Trader Joe's always comes out with so many freaking cool products. It's kind of annoying because I have a natural grocers and a Whole Foods super close to me, so I don't often go to Trader Joe's, and I feel like I'm missing out. They have so much cool shit there. But go to my blog. I have a list of my favorite ones there. How do I... Cook, cook. How do I kick my sugar addiction? Guess what? I did an Instagram live about that two weeks ago. So if you go to my blog and type in IG live, it will pop up right there. You can also always send me a message and I can send you a link. Do you have a team for your business? No, I'm solo. Okay, so I've worked by myself for myself for a long time. I used to have an assistant and then I just stayed by myself for a good chunk of time at this point. And now I've been hiring kind of um, more management. So kind of helping me manage different things. Not assistant, mostly management. And it's been really great. So I'm excited to see what 2020 has in store. Oh my God, last time I had a Snickers bar, I got heart palpitations. I assume they weren't connected, but now I'm afraid of them. Oh no, that is sketchy. Uh, what did you do for work before Paleo MG? So I used to work in corporate wellness. I worked for uh, Coors Corporate Wellness, and then I was working at five different CrossFit gyms all the fucking time um, before I started. Well, I started Paleo MG while I was in corporate wellness and kept working on it. And then um, once my business started actually making some money, I was able to move over to Paleo MG full time. Let's see. It's so nice to e meet someone who says fuck as much as I do. It's so weird when people are offended by cuss words. It's so weird. Um, what are your Meyer Briggs letters? What type are you on the Enneagram? Kath, I have no fucking idea. Oh my God. So I was at this beauty counter conference a while back that my friend invited me to. And I'm out to dinner with like probably, I don't know, 12 women. And they're all talking about their Enneagram. They're just like, I'm a four. I'm a seven. I'm an eight. What are you? And I'm like, bitch, I don't know what I am. Why are you talking in code? Like, what are you talking about? So I have no idea what my Meyer Briggs, any of that. Oh, my nose is running. I have zero idea. And sure, I could take the test, but I just don't, do not care. What is your degree in? My degree was in health and exercise science. So I always thought I'd work in corporate wellness, um, but I wasn't in love with the food side of things that I learned in college, and then I was able to kind of move away from that. But yeah, I, health and exercise science. Um, what the fuck is an Enneagram? An Enneagram is your personality rating. So it, like you take this test, 
and it gives you a rating from like one to 10 or something. Um, and it, it tells you what you are like and the people you match up with the best. I mean, why can't we just, just be humans and just like talk to each other? I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, let's see. Not sure if I missed this, but how painful is your tattoo removal process? What tattoo are you removing? Not telling you. So, but the tattoo removal <laughs> for the tattoo removal process is amazingly not super painful. So I'm going to a, um, uh, what is it called? A school, like a laser school, laser college. So people go there to learn the newest lasers that have come out. So this the person who runs the school, she gets in all the latest lasers. And so she has the latest and best technology. And she doesn't charge you that much because she didn't have to pay 300 fucking thousand dollars to get this laser. So right now I know they're using the, the pastel laser on me and my tattoo is on my side. It's on my rib cage and she, they've been using a past, it's called, I think pastel and it's, um, I've done five treatments now. Then you numb up beforehand. And my tattoo is probably this big, like the size of a large apple. And it takes 20 seconds. It's crazy fast. Whenever I hear, I've talked to people on my blog who have done tattoo removal process in the past and friends and said it was the most painful thing they've ever fucking done. And some people never even finished because it hurt so bad. And this last, I had this, um, appointment yesterday and that one was barely painful at all like the numbing helped so much as it gets closer to my boob it hurts pretty bad um, but at the same time the shit I do on my face is way more fucking painful than the one on my side and I thought getting a tattoo is really fucking painful on the rib cage because that's my thinnest point is on my rib cage compared to my lower body so it is painful, but not really and not compared to anybody else I've seen get tattoos removed and it also, it causes no bleeding. It causes no burning, no bloody uh, blisters the next day. And I've seen that with so many friends. So it's been awesome. It's very fucking slow process. I thought it would be a lot faster. Um, and I thought I'd see more results a little quicker, but it's been kind of slow. But you know, I made that fucking, I dug that grave. Now I gotta lie in it until I can dig my way back out. You know what I'm saying? Um, do you know anything about FODMAP diets? I do not. I don't know anything about those. I am so sorry. I'm sure there's a million different things online that you can read about. Uh, let's see. Can you expand on what you didn't like about the food stuff you learned in college? So just the USDA guidelines of whole grains and just the foods that are in the normal American diet, I don't think we should be consuming on a regular basis, if at all, a lot of times. And so, especially in our, um, in America. So I just did not like the information that was being put out there. <sighs> yeah, that's just, the USDA guidelines are just not my thing. Yay, um, I have a degree in exercise science too. I'm stuck in sales now and hate it. Any advice on how to get back in the fitness industry? I'm dying to. Man, I think a lot of times personal training, finding, just doing different things. So first of all, starting with personal training, if you like working one-on-one, -on -one, corporate wellness is another where you're doing kind of group training and incentive programs and just finding the niche you like a little bit more. So. That's the biggest thing. I think working one-on-one -on -one on, with clients is awesome. I can't do that because of my business at this point, but I recommend just getting into personal training. You can do it just a little bit on the side while you're still working your sales job, and then you can test the water, see what you like, see what you don't like, and start meeting people along the way. That's just me. Pico sure is the best. Yes, they have the PicoSure uh, laser as well. So they're starting with the pastel one and then they'll hit it with Pico. She says they use Pico a little bit more for color, but um, the pastel and the Pico are both ones they use in their office. Okay, I should probably sum this up soon. Um, can you advise a publication for kettlebells? I'm 68, working with them three months. I'm very active. Man, I have no clue. I'm sure there's so many different online sources about kettlebells and how to use them properly. Um, so I just do some digging, just look 
And don't just go on the first page because there are so many just ads on the first page of Google and the first couple pages. So maybe do a little digging back. Um, there's so many great sources of information, um, even on CrossFit websites for kettlebells. So just do a little digging. How much is, I'm guessing you're asking how much is tattoo removal? It is $50 per appointment and I've had five so far. <laughs> Much more expensive than my actual tattoo. Um, do you still use the fascia blaster you were using a while ago? Hi Jackson. I do not because it, I just had constant bruises. So no. Here Jackson, come here. I'm gonna give you something. I'll give you a treat. That works every time. I'm gonna sum it up. Come here. You can see Jackson. Oh, that's a good boy. Oh, gosh. And he's kind of clumsy. Oh, yeah. Ugh. This is always how we sum things up, huh, Jackson? Jackson. You, how do you, how? How do you do this? <gasps> there we go. Okay, I should sum this up. Thank you guys for tuning in. Text, or text me, message me if you have any questions about those products that I talked about, but go support those products, you guys. We gotta support these small brands and help them grow and make the world a better place and a healthier place. They're the best. Let's put, replace all Snickers bars with these trail bars, okay? Let's do it. Message me if you guys have any questions. We'll see you guys next week. You're the best. Okay, bye. Bye. <gasps>